Alrighty folks, welcome back to 59 Mile Arc, and today we are going to fly around Warsaw, Poland, and do a VFR flight. Um, but first, I want to briefly discuss how the previous flight ended. If you recall, we crashed, or the 727 crashed itself. There's like an autopilot glitch or something, and it just dove down to the left. And I know it's not an airplane issue. It's not a problem with the 727. It's this autopilot glitch that I've experienced in several aircraft. It seems to be when you have autopilot going for a long time, all of a sudden it'll just go down and to the left. This happened in this default Cessna once or twice. It's happened in the B1900D a lot, many, many times. And it happened in the 727 in the last video. It doesn't happen every time. In fact, it's a, I would consider it a very rare occurrence. But I fly so much that even one or two times out of a hundred flights feels like a lot, but that's still very, very rare. So, of course, I went to the forums to check what people had to say, and there was or there is a thread on it. However, the people responding are naysayers saying, oh, no, autopilot is fine, and it's because you try to do some input which canceled autopilot, or the other comment that really frustrated me was someone said oh you people are just trying to fly aircraft that are way too complicated for you um, I did not reply to the thread I have no post in that thread I decided to leave it alone um, but I totally disagree with pretty much every comment in that thread because I personally have experienced it many many times over the years um, and I've done nothing for example last time in the 727 I was just on my phone playing a word puzzle while I was waiting for my next move, and all of a sudden, as I was in my word puzzle, the airplane dove down and to the left. No input from me. I know how to fly that plane extremely well. I know what I'm doing. It's just something that happens, and it always goes down and to the left, and the only way to get out of it is to disengage, re-engage, disengage, autopilot, and then you can regain control. However, in the 727, we were coming down for an approach, and we were so low and so fast, I couldn't regain control, especially because it was that aircraft. In the smaller aircraft, like the B-1900 and this one, this default Cessna, I can regain control if I'm high enough, not a big deal. But it's really frustrating that that happened, and I'm really frustrated that everybody on the forums is like, oh, you're all wrong, you just don't know what you're doing. Um, but it seems to be so very rare that most people have never experienced it. So I just want to give that little, little comment there and to start this video off because it's fresh in my mind, and that's how the last video ended, and I do know what I'm doing. I just kind of want to vent my frustration a little bit to the general public of the small 46 people who watch these videos. Actually, maybe maybe 100 of you will watch this video. I don't know. But I just wanted to let that out because I was very frustrated that that flight ended that way. I will redo that flight, Warsaw to Talon in the 727, but it'll be a while because the 727 flights are involved. It takes some flight planning, manual, slant alpha, VOR to VOR flight planning. I have to be 100% engaged. So I can't set autopilot and leave and come back like I can in like the B-1900 if we do a cross-country flight. Ooh, someone's APU is running. Um, so it'll be a while, but I will redo that flight, but I don't know when it's going to be. So for today, getting back on track for today, default Cessna, we're just going to do some VFR flight around Warsaw because the autogen is awesome. And I got real world weather turned on, so it looks gorgeous. Our frame rates are nice and high. I restarted my computer since, well... It's been a couple days since the last flight, but just wanted to do this little, cute, little, easy, simple flight. Going back to my roots yet again, where we just fly default, not default, we fly small GA aircraft on small, short flights. Casually, calmly, no FMS, no real flight planning. Um, that's what most of my flights are like. So let's see, what are we doing? We're just zooming in and having a look at the beautiful, much underrated default Cessna. Um, just gorgeous. Look at that. All right. Enough staring and gawking. Let's get going here. Looks like traffic is being held up by something. All right. So what do we do first? It's been a very long time since we've flown this thing. We closed the doors. I have the doors open for both passenger and... Come on. Where's the down arrow? Passenger and pilot. And there you go. What is next? Make sure the parking brake is set. And it is... Reset the controls, they're working there. Our rudder's working, yes they are. Alrighty. Oh, we gotta get the bobblehead out. I'm glad I I'm glad I got the um there he is. 
I'm glad I got that on my checklist. Well, I think we can use this preset and look at Austin. Hey, Austin. How you doing, buddy? All right, wait and fuel. Let's see. We'll keep him up while we do this. Um, uh, We're not going to fly very long. We're not going to... How does this go? Seven hours. Well, let's put in two... We're going to fly like for half an hour, but let's put in two hours anyway. You never know what we might feel like doing. Uh, we'll be taking off about 8.30 or so in the same time. All right, fuel selector. Do I really have a fuel selector? Um, I, it's not always both. It is always both, but I check it anyway. Fuel shot off closed. It is. Battery and alt on. And they go on together. Engine start. Strobe. Beacon. Fuel pump. Mixture rich. Throttle quarter away. Avionics are off. Start the engine. You have to hold this one, I guess. There we go. So they're all a little different. Yep, I know we got to sync the gyros. In fact, I'm going to never show me again. Okay, why my keyboard? See how the direction and the compass don't line up? Watch what happens when I sync them. Boom, they line up now. That lines up with that. In these vacuum planes, you have to sync your gyros every 20 minutes, 18 to 20 minutes. I just have it mapped to Y on my keyboard. It is not mapped to anything by default. All right, let's lean to the mixture. There we go. Now the avionics can come on. And flight plan, no, but we are going to put our destination in here so that we can um, um, have an idea where we're going. Let's see, I think we do that one, then we do this one, and then it's going to be... Oh, so we're taking off at Warsaw Modlin Airport. And then we're going to head kind of southeast to Warsaw Chopin Airport. Um, as always, you can check the description below for... We, where we're started and where we're going. I used to put it in the beginning of each video as like a title card, but it doesn't need to be there. Um, it's just in the description if you care. I try to say it in every video, so it doesn't need to be spoken and in a title card. Title cards look cool. I know that. I used to use lower thirds and then I used it all over the screen. I was like, you know what? I was put in the description. All right, there we go. Warsaw Chopin. Chopin. All right. Direct. You bet. Yep, mm-hmm. And we're all set. 20 miles, but we're going to do a VFR. We're going to zigzag all around. And then that'll just tell us where it is. So we'll redirect we'll direct again once we want to come in for landing. We're going to put something ADF just because we can. Um, what's it going to be? 375. Okay, now this is hard to do well, because... Is this right? ADF... Frequency, okay, 375. We got to find the other one. Um, oh, we have to go all the way up to seven. Oh my gosh. And you can't hold it down. You have to sit here and click. All right, give me a minute. I'll get there. Okay, and then three. Right, ADF, what's this stuff do? There. ADF. 375. Look at my chart. ADF 3 or NDB 375. That just lines up with the runway if we want to if we feel like it because we can, and there it is right here. Ah, that's not going to work for the ADF card. We can see it here though. Right there. Not a problem. We'll just point at it. And then you can rotate it so you get the right um, radial in if you want to. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to go that complicated today. It's not complicated. All right, let's see. My voice is starting to taper off. I notice my voice in the editing is all over the place. I do have compression on pretty high. But if I peak and I normalize, it only normalizes to the peak and everything else stays soft. So it's either raise everything and get distortion every little once in a while or be kind of soft without distortion and com use compression. So I'm trying to speak more loudly, but it doesn't necessarily work. Uh, let's see, flight plan, we kind of did that. Um, GPS, it's easy. Yeah, let, yeah, yeah, in case you want to use autopilot. If we do use autopilot, though, we're probably just going to use the heading bug so that we can just, you know, look around. Um, look, my nav data is not out of date anymore. Isn't that awesome? Whoops, shoot, I screwed that up. Let's resync that. Set course to 130. We don't have an HSI. Really 
kind of. Not, well, this weed's at 130 because it's going to follow this one or this one. One of these will follow GPS, probably the top one. We'll figure it out later. Whichever one swings around when we take off is the one that follows GPS. I assume it's the top one. All right. Um, radios. Yeah, that was the ADF thing we did. Weather. Oh, yes. There's real weather. Do we have an ATIS? Do we have an ATIS? If not, we'll get the ATIS from or from shopping. We don't have an ATIS. Um, can we get the ATIS from Chopin? Where's Chopin? Is it this one? Yeah. There has to be an ATIS here. Yes. 120450. 120450. Where's my... This one. Com. Com, com, com. One, two, look at 120450. Switch. There it is. Alrighty. So 29097. Oops. Shoot. I'm trying to zoom in because I can't see that far. Two niner, niner, two four six eight seven right there. Arriving eleven for our destination. We don't know what they're doing. Turn off. We don't know what they're departing here. So we'll. What is eleven going to be? Eleven's going to be this one, right there, because I'll be fifteen. That's eleven. Uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. But for right now, what do we want to take off? Light of variable. Let's just swing to the right and just use this runway right here, whatever that's going to be. Probably eight. Okay. Simple. Taxi lights on. Let's get rolling here. It's taking us a while. Flaps down one notch. Confirm looks sure as mean and begin taxi. That's what we're going to do. So like I said, we're just going to taxi to the right. Excuse you. Hey, move it. Move it. I'm going to taxi to the right. Pretend he's not there. Sorry, mister. And then, um, take off. Except this is a road. Because the taxiway would be a pushback. Let's take the road because it's hilarious. Instead of getting pushed back. Um, this is like Alaska when they just use roads to go around. They'll land an airport and then they'll take their plane like it's a car to wherever they're going. I am not joking. I'm sure you already knew that. All right, here we go. See, there's a taxiway here, except it's blocked off with big boulder or not, not boulders. Can't remember what those are called. They're not bullions, not stanchions, not they're not bulliards. Can't remember what those things are called. Those big cement things. I know the poles are bulliards. I don't know if those are. Anyway, now we're back on course. <laughs> Let's um. Actually, well, if I can get straight, I'm gonna swing around so you can have a look at this airport. Cause I'm sure somebody put a lot of work into it. Okay, let's see if that'll keep us straight enough while I zoom around super fast. Beautiful. Look at all those airplanes. Gorgeous. Alrighty, I'm going to taxi to the end of this thing because it's going to be a while, and I'll see you at the end of the runway. Alright, Austin, I think we're ready to turn out towards the runway here. And we'll stop at the stop line if there is one. There should be. I don't see one. Where is it? There it is. It's up there yet. There's like a pull-off run-up area over here or something. That's interesting. Alrighty, let's stop here at the stop line. What do we need to do next? Landing lights on. Taxi lights off. Nav lights on. Set the trim. It already is. Uh, confirm the flaps. Yes, right there. Confirm fuel, fuel pump on. Yes, pedal heat on. Head, heading bug. Start, whoa, my voice. Heading bug. Start the clock and make sure rich once you're on the runway. So here we go. Let's move on to the runway now. Alright, let's set the parking brake a second. Heading bug to runway heading. No, it's not going to do the push to select thing. Okay, it wants to go this way. Whichever way it wants to go is the way it gets to go. Oh, a little too much. Come on. Come on. There we go. And start the clock. It's over here on this one. Select mode. There it is. Boom, mixture rich, and for some reason we almost stalled. And away we go. Not sure what happened there. Hang on, Austin. You know I'm flying. You know you should be wearing a seatbelt if I'm flying. All right, there's 40. Airspeed is alive. I'm a hard time going straight. And let's just lift off. Pops right off. Step on the brakes to stop the gear from spinning around. Gears fixed, obviously. Flaps are coming in. And we'll just keep full throttle for now, just because we can in this airplane. 
Let's have a look at the airport as we try to maintain runway heading without looking out the window or looking at the gauges. And look how gorgeous that is. Very pretty. Alrighty, let's see here. We're heading sort of northeast-ish, which is fine. So we'll be turning to the right to head down to Warsaw to have a look around. But for right now, let's just have a look around here while we try to fly straight-ish. Not really working very well, is it? Because we're outside the airplane. Look at that. So gorgeous. Oh, there's a little town there with a European autogen. Ooh. Oh, we're already getting to the clouds. We obviously need to be below the clouds for sightseeing. But um, I thought the clouds were higher than that. Yeah, we're only at 1,300 feet. Told me, it told me the clouds are at 3,400. Alrighty, let's head south towards Warsaw. And then we'll um, have a look around. Although this is just as gorgeous as the city. Wow. Let's follow this road. This must be a main road back to Warsaw. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's this awesome little town along the water. See that big road over there with that truck on in the bridge? That's where we're going to head. We're going to see if that's a road that leads to Warsaw. Because we have no idea where we are, other than what's on the map. I'm trimming way down because this thing wants to climb. But I got full throttle. We're, driving, we're flying it like a sport machine. Look at that awesome town down there. And this is full detail. Everything, all settings are full except reflections. Because I hate the, or not reflections. Well, you know how it does a reflection thing on the airplane? I actually hate that because it updates every couple seconds. Or every second. So that's turned off. And AA is turned down because I don't need it cranked up. But other than that, everything is cranked up. So for your viewing pleasure in 1440p at 60 frames per second. So we get all the trees, we get all the buildings. Weather is real. Skymax Pro, which hasn't been updated in a long time, I realized. Um, I have not updated X Plane to 1140. I might after this video. Since it's going to be such a long time until I fly the 727 again and they warned not to update, I might just update. <laughs> Look at that cool town, whatever that is. Okay, we got to get this thing under control here. Let's bring back throttles a little bit. I don't really want to slow down, I just want to trim down to speed us up. Yeah, we're not even going south anymore. Where did that road go? There it is. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do... Normally we chat a lot when we sightsee, but I'm going to try where I just sightsee. So no chatting, just the sightsee portion of my video. I'm going to try to fly like this. You know, I think maybe I need to use Heading Bug. Yeah, let's use... Okay, so that we can say, see, let's use the heading bug and autopilot and alt hold so that um, I can spend my time looking around, not trying to zigzag around. You know what I mean? Because right now we're zigzagging around. So let's do heading bug. Let's do alt. Um, but let's decrease vertical speed. That's 300 feet per minute. Yep, let's decrease a little bit so we get below these clouds. So now we're under control. We'll use autopilot, like I said. So heading bug, we're gonna use heading bug around to just move us around. And then once we get a little bit below these clouds, we'll have vertical speed off and alt hold. And then um, I'll use throttle so we don't overspeed here. And now we can look around. So lots of sightseeing for you. I might insert some chatter every now and then. But otherwise, we're just going to sightsee peacefully around Warsaw once you get there, once I find it. And probably without music. So hopefully you enjoy, and I'll chit-chat with you in a little bit.
What do you think, Austin? That's a pretty crazy ride, isn't it? We're kind of curving all over the place here. I have no idea what's going on. This must be really windy. But isn't it just gorgeous? Even though it's all autogen, it's just so convincing. Of course, the roads are exact, and the water is exact based on OSM data, and the building density and the building height is exact based on OSM data. But it's still super convincing. It's super impressive. And um, I like how it's dense this direction to the like southeast, and then over here it's not quite so dense. Something going on there. They got the river. You look back. You got the city behind us now. Just look at that. I better, better get a screenshot in here. I don't have a thumbnail yet. I think that's going to be it, probably. Maybe this one. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. Just gazing over. Of course, I don't know anything about Warsaw to point anything out. Um, I know the name of that river. I just can't get my brain to say it, but I, I'm familiar with that river. I like the pockets of buildings. Got a pocket there, a pocket there, of course downtown, another downtown type area. Some more pockets there. How cool is this? And again, the Autopean Eurogen. I'm the Autopean Euro the European Autogen. <laughs> that was awesome. The European Autogen looks fabulous. Oh, they got some sprawling development and well not development. It's been developed for centuries, but some other things going on there. Wow. Alrighty, if I knew specifics, we would fly to them and I would talk about them, but I don't know any specifics. So, if you know the area, you have to pause it, go back and pause it and look around. I really don't know anything. For right now, though, let's loop this direction to turn around. Um, so you can see a few more things. While it's doing that, let's pull up our iPad and see where we are. Um, so we're going to turn around like this. Come back and then land on runway 11. I did see this little airport here. I was thinking maybe we should just land here. Because that would be... Let's just land there. Yeah, let's not land at the big airport. It's too busy. They're not going to let us land. It's too busy. We're going to land at this one. Which is Echo Papa Bravo Charlie. And it's called Babis? Babice? No, Bice would be Italian. This might be Babis. I don't know. There's an Adis. There's not. So, let's see, visibility 10, light variable, so we can land any way we want. I know Warsaw, they're landing in the opposite direction. They're on 90 and 11, but we're just going to land straight in. So, let's use this as a guide. Um, let's go a little bit more to the left. And then we'll get like a fly straight in approach thing going on here as soon as we see it. So, a little bit more sightseeing for you while we line up at the runway. And, um... We'll come together again once it's time to land. We will see you then. Alrighty, the runaway is right in front of us, so it's time to come down. Austin's kind of blocking the view, but there it is. So how do we turn this off? I don't think there's an off. I think you just... No, shoot. How do you turn autopilot off? I don't have it on my yoke anymore because it was screwing up. Um, where's autopilot to turn off? I guess I can just um, trim. There you go. That'll turn it everything off. Perfect. Good. Okay. Where did the airport go? Austin, you're blocking the view here. So are the clouds. 
Did we miss it? Um, I lost the airport because of the clouds. We were flying straight at it. And then we ran into some IMC and now we're in big trouble. Also, my ADF never turned on. So, it must not just be on the map. Nope, there's not an NDB here like there is in real life. That's why. Okay. Um, well, let's descend here. Slow down and descend. There we go. Oh, look it. Runway is perfectly in front of us. Thanks, Austin. Couldn't have done better. All right. Um, we're going to come on slowly. What do we need for approach? If I can hold this without autopilot. Um, let's see. Get destination weather. We did. Landing lights on. Fuel pump on. 1,000 AGL. We're pretty close to 1,000 AGL. So let's get our fuel pump on. And landing lights on. And what else? Flaps 10 at 110 knots. Flaps 30 at 85. Whoa, which we're already there, but we're kind of slow. We don't need to be this slow. We're going to hold up other traffic. Blue flaps 30 in a minute. Full flaps for short field only. We don't need full flaps. All right, so let's get our speed back up because good grief. That really slowed us down. Approach at 60 to 70. Land at 61 to 64. Throttle's at idle upon landing. All right, so let's get down here. I feel like we suddenly are going nowhere. Kind of like, um, we're just sitting still. It feels like we're nose diving, but we're only coming down at 900 feet per minute, which isn't terrible. Um, it's looking gorgeous. I really want to look out the window, obviously, but we all know what happens when I sightsee. All right, so second set of flaps coming down. That's going to make us float. And the X's say don't land there. We have to land past there. So let's keep going here. We're at a good final approach speed. Whoa, this wind. That's really crazy. At least I assume that's the wind. Blowing us all around. Otherwise, we're just coming in nice and slowly and steeply. And a good approach speed. We're about to cross over the fence. The runway is much, much longer than it looks, so that's not going to be a problem. Let's get some throttles now to soften our descent rate. Don't point up, just give throttles. So there we go. Good. Good approach speed, good touchdown speed too. Let's get a little more speed so we can go idle and float softly to the ground. Because we're not doing short fields, so we don't have full flaps out. So there we go. I know we're going to land a little long, but I want to come down a little bit before we flare. Well, we don't really flare in a Cessna, but... Alrighty, get down more. Okay, thought it was idle. Soften it up a little bit. Just let it touch down on its own. A little bit of left rudder. There we go. That was not as smooth as it could have been. <laughs> the reason is because, in our peripheral vision, I thought we were touching down and we were still like 15 feet up. Because this is a right wide runway, so... That's a problem I've always had, is judging height. Um, I don't know if everybody does, but I assume that's somewhat common. Alrighty, especially in a small plane when you have a really really wide runway. You think you're touching down, you're about ready to float down, and all of a sudden you realize you have like 10 feet to go, and by then you're going too slowly, and you drop it. Alrighty, let's get past the stop line. Why do I need like full left rudder here? Crazy. Alright, let's stop here a second. And set the parking brake. Stop the clock. 25 and a half minutes. Flying around Warsaw. Alright, let's see. Landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Nav lights off. Mixture lean. Pedo heat off. Fuel pump off. Confirm flaps are up. Alright, taxi lights on and taxi to our parking, which is going to be, we don't know yet, we have to um, ask ATC where to go, so where, where are we going? We're just going to go over there to the grass where the rest of them are. Okay, simple enough, parking brake off, give some throttle and I'll meet you over there. Huh, there's a tower here though, which is interesting since there's nothing else here except some fuel trucks and the little turnaround thing. 
and a tower and some GA. So we'll just come out here, kind of park it roughly, and they'll let us dolly. They'll let, we'll let them dolly us wherever they want us to be. Let's not clip our wing. Jeez, who's flying this thing anyway? Alrighty. Oh, it looks like they took all the GA spots. Is there one in between there? Looks like it. Let's try to park in an actual spot. I can tell by the yellow lines, of course. Alright, can we do this? Without hitting something? Oh, this isn't a spot. All the spots are taken. Let's just stop here and let them dolly us wherever they want us. So parking brake is set. Hop inside. Um, first thing we do is taxi lights are off. Avionics are off. Fuel cut off. Strobe and beacon off. Magneto's off. What's wrong way? There we go. Battery and alt off. And then open the doors from the floor, apparently. <laughs> and hop outside. And there you have it. A successful flight after a big crash previously. Um, I just need to work on landing small planes on wide runways because my perception is so off. I've never, in many, many years, I've never quite been able to land tiny planes on wide runways just without peripheral vision is impossible but those are my excuses that's all they are excuses i should just get used to it someday oh i'm enjoying that skyline in the background that's awesome so anyway we had a little diversion landed at a different airplane airport than we originally intended but that's kind of the fun of it too hopefully you enjoyed it if you're a subscriber thank you for your first support whatever that said <laughs> if you found me back then please like please subscribe please share with your friends if you have any questions, put them in the description below or ask me on the forums. If you have a flight suggestion or request, put that in the description or the comments below. Not the description, the comments below. And I'll fly it as soon as I can. Otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll catch you on the next one.